Hey dude, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician. I've had a little time to mess around with this awesome new player from Reason, the Pattern Mutator, and I am really enjoying it. I'm finding it fun, inspiring, and uh, pretty straightforward. This video is just going to kind of be a demo showing you some of the things I've done with it very briefly. Um, and I'll do another video, I think, down the road, either reviewing it or giving a more detailed guide on how to use it. But for this video, I just kind of want to give you a sense of what you can do with the pattern mutator uh, and we'll mess around with it for a little bit. If you could leave a comment down below about what you think about the pattern mutator and whether or not you're planning on picking it up and why, I'd really appreciate it. That'll let me know if I should make some more videos on it or uh, we should just let it go the way of the dodo. All right, let's watch that intro. Okay, so right here we have just a few different sounds, all stock, all just basic patches to uh, get things rolling. So just put like a simple house drum beat and a rec loop to give us something to work against. And actually let me turn on the master maximizer just so we don't clip at all. Um, and also actually while I do that, let me remind you that I have this free mastering template it uses only stock plugins and it will help you make much better sounding mixes and masters in Reason. I've got a link down to it below. You can download it. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's taken me years to figure out how to get this just right, but it's really cool. All right, so we've got this drum beat. And so the first thing I did was come up with a little pattern on this poly, which I just did in step record mode by hitting step record here. And so let's put this on. And you notice it's in a different time signature. I put it in five instead of four, even though the drums are in four, but I think it creates kind of this cool effect. Then to create variations, what you do is by default, this is the pattern that you play in. And these are the um, parameters that you use to mutate it. So you would hit mutate and you get this new pattern now. Or if you, can also change it up. So if you found something you liked, you could copy the pattern to one of these eight additional uh, pattern slots. But let's go back to the original pattern. I liked it more. And I've done a different, I've also done a, um, a second pattern so using mutate. can change the gate length. And of course you could change the tempo or the step length. And there's a lot of cool CV stuff you can do in the back, but we're not going to get into that here. I just kind of want to show you some cool ideas you can get started with this. Uh, and then so we put together a bass line here. Um, and so let's just bring that in. Go pretty fast. Let's see how we can do some fun stuff using the mix. Also use it with Dr. Rex to create cool patterns with loops where you chop them up in different ways. So I've got that here. Thank you. 
So there are a lot of fun things you can get started doing really quickly with this. Uh, you know, you can also switch between patterns. Uh, a really cool thing you can do, uh, let's just solo the bass and the drums, is you can easily transpose. So if we select the monotone while it's playing, we can actually transpose, transpose it, but you got to be playing. So. Trigger it. All right, I don't have a second pattern here, but. So that's a lot of, a lot of fun. I can imagine this on something like, you know, Ableton, where you can start pushing and triggering all sorts of multi events, and you would be doing some really cool stuff. By default with Reason, um, it would be a little hard to set up something like that, but using the power of the Combinator, you can actually start doing some pretty cool stuff with the monotone. So here I've got a Combinator um, set up. Sorry. Um, and so, with the Combinator, what I have done is a few things, but I think you could take this way farther if you wanted to set it really up. One of the main benefits of the Combinator is that I can now simultaneously change or transpose the notes of multiple instruments that I've got inserted within the Combinator, because normally you would only be able to change one at a time, but let's hit play here. So that's a really powerful aspect of it that, you know, you can have multiple different synths loaded into a combinator and you can have them going and changing all together without having to separately control a bunch of stuff. You could also map the rotary to different pattern selections, for example, um, or, you know, different times, different gate lengths. You can map it to a mixer so things fade in and fade out or to, you know, a filter lots of different options but like let's just so I hope this demo has shown you a little bit of how powerful pattern mutator can be. These are all things I came up with literally, literally in, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, maybe it sounds that way, but I hope I have shown that if you spend a little time with this, you can really start doing not only some cool things and inspiring things from a compositional menu or aspect, but also I think there's probably a lot to be said for using this potentially in a live situation, especially using Reason as a plugin in some of the DAWs that are more live friendly like Ableton. Uh, so don't forget to download your free mastering template for Reason. It's really powerful. There's a link down below. Be sure to let me know what you think of Pattern Mutator and why you are a fan or not. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.